homes in the United States. Local sheriffs are calling on the federal government to boot out undocumented immigrants who are committing crimes. But some say immigrants are just being blamed for problems beyond their control. NBC 17's Brian D. Roy has both sides of this emotional issue. The Wake County Jail is getting more like the United Nations lately. Last year, the jail welcomed people from 36 different countries. If you come in here, you need to be documented. Sheriff Donnie Harrison estimates around 1,000 undocumented immigrants who commit crimes other than just being here without proper credentials pass through the jail every year. In the past two years, Harrison estimates Wake County taxpayers have shelled out more than $3 million to house undocumented immigrants. Everybody expects the sheriff and the local police to handle this situation, and we can't. The law says local police and sheriff's deputies cannot arrest someone for being here illegally. Wake County keeps track of suspected illegal immigrants and passes the names on to the federal government. Harrison says the feds have never contacted him about any illegal immigrants. But my concern is, are we taking taxpayers' money doing the job that the federal government should be doing? The local Office of Immigration and Customs Enforcement tells us they only focus on major criminals. We made repeated requests to interview local immigration officials. They told us the feds in Washington had to approve it, but no interview was ever granted. Sheriff Harrison says the feds won't even let local authorities access to a database to see who's here illegally. The sheriff says that makes no sense. They get caught, they bail out, and the next thing you know, they're back here in another, with another name six months from now. We won't know the difference. In Johnson County, Sheriff Steve Bizzle says instead of just arresting illegal immigrants and taking them to the county jail, he wants to go one step further, or should we say several hundred miles further. If they commit crimes and they go to jail, I'm ready to load the truck and send them back, drive the truck back to Mexico and put them back from whence they came. Sheriff Steve Bizzle estimates around 20% of people in the Johnson County Jail on any given day are illegal immigrants. Bizzle is the president-elect of the State Sheriff's Association. The group is asking the federal government to step up immigration enforcement and increase deportations. You go to every jail in the state of North Carolina, we've already got them rounded up. I'm talking about the illegal Mexicans that are committing crimes. They need to be the first one that needs to be the first load to go back. A couple of counties over, there's human rights activist Peggy Mish. That I uh, take the stand in many cases for the underdog. And the Bill of Rights and the Constitution all talk about persons, not whether the, the citizens have rights, but persons. Mish asking Chapel Hill town leaders to pass a resolution that says city police can arrest anyone for simply being here undocumented. Theory being, if someone gets a traffic ticket, they can't be hauled down to jail for being undocumented. If people are arrested for just minor offenses, then that loses the trust of any of the immigrants in the community. Chapel Hill police say their current policy is to not arrest anyone simply on an immigration violation. Sheriffs Harrison and Bizzle say that's also a federal matter. Still, Sheriff Bizzle has a stern warning for the feds. Do something now or else his threat may become reality. It's the sheriffs in the state of North Carolina and across this nation that get the job done. We can get it done. I'm ready to load the truck. The sheriff says he doesn't know if he legally could take such a measure, but he vows to keep the heat on the feds to do something. Brian D. Roy, NBC 17 News.